Dear students, once again I came before you to make you aware and clear about a very important content of political theory, freedom. The explanation is going to be held before you as described in the 11th class textbook of NCRT. Freedom. What type of aspect is known as freedom? What is the meaning of freedom? What is individual freedom? What is the freedom of nation? Both are same or different. Such type of questions are going to be discussed before you. According to textbook, first of all, you have to get acquainted with the two ideals of modern or contemporary world that spent his whole life to gain freedom for him or herself and his or her people. Nelson Mandela Nelson Mandela and Ang Shang Shu Ki. These are the two ideals of freedom. Nelson Mandela belongs to South Africa. As you know, Aung San Suu Kyi belongs to Myanmar. Early known as Burma, which was the integral part of Indian Union till 1935. At first, I want to put before you some important features of Nelson Mandela and his struggle against apartheid or the policy of uh, discrimination uh, based on color or the uh, government of whites. Nelson Mandela spent 27 years in jail. He spent large part of his imprisonment in a particular jail known as Robin Island Prison. Even in solitary confinement, he was put behind the bar for continuous 27 year from 1963 to 90. Nelson Mandela all of these wrote into his biography known as Long Walk to Freedom. Long Walk to Freedom is the autobiography of Nelson Mandela. Uh, but what type of information? Is further waiting for you is the general election. General election in South Africa. in 1994 general election in south africa in 1994 can be described as first multi racial multi 
रेशियल इलेक्शन इन विच रेदर देन वाइट इंक्लूडिंग ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ कलर्ड पीपल फर्स्ट टाइम गेट अपॉर्चुनिटी टू कास्ट दियर वोट और द रिजल्ट वॉज इन द फेवर ऑफ नीलसन मंडेला विच पब्लिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और पॉलिटिकल पार्टी इज नोन एज अफ्रीकन नेशनल कांग्रेस नीलसन मंडेला वाज टू बी अपॉइंटेड एज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ साउथ अफ्रीका और दिस सरकमस्टांसिज इन साउथ अफ्रीका वाज सीन एज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू टेक रिवेंज बाई ब्लैक्स फ्रॉम व्हाइट्स बट नेल्सन मंडेला चूज अवे और स्टेब्लिश एन ट्रैक इन साउथ अफ्रीका ऑन विच ऑल पीपल्स बिलोंगिंग टू एनी कलर इंक्लूडिंग वाइट्स हु डोमिनेटेड द सोसाइटी पॉलिटिकली एंड इकोनॉमिकली बिफोर नाइनटीन फोर guaranteed equal rights opportunity and life to dignity so it is the most important among the features of nelson mandela's persona so it was 1994 when first time blacks or other colored people in south africa casted their votes and nelson mandela who had been released in 1990 on the election by full majority and become the president of south of africa but he created a constitution that is known as rainbow constitution rainbow uh, constitution it represents equal rights equal status equal opportunity and dignity to life for each and every people regardless of their color race creed religion etc so the constitution framed under the leadership of nelson mandela is known as rainbow constitution so it is the major feature about nelson mandela which has been acquainted with you second icon of freedom mention in your textbook aung san suu kyi after we discuss about the nelson mandela we have to know some important features of aung san suu kyi and her struggle in order to get freedom for her and her people or country now i am going to discuss before you some important feature about the second 
ideal of freedom included in your textbook class 11 in CRT Aung San Suu Kyi Aung San Suu Kyi belongs to Myanmar or early known as Burma which was the part of Indian territory till 1935 my dear student it is the time to discuss an another figure of freedom ideal included in your textbook NCRT 11 Aung San Suu Kyi as you know that Aung San Suu Kyi belongs to Myanmar earlier known as Burma an integral part of Indian territory till 1935 she spent some years of her life in New Delhi and completed her BA course from Delhi University she is a well qualified leader of South Asia having a degree of MPhil from London West University she decided to remain house arrest in Rangoon or the capital of Myanmar in spite of an opportunity to see her ailing husband in London who was dying going to die from cancer but she denied to go beyond the boundary of Burma uh, Myanmar because she had fear that if she went, uh, went once again from Myanmar she would not be able to return here can you see what is the level of dedication and contribution may be recognized within the struggle of this madam Aung San Suu Kyi decided to remain house arrest in spite of an opportunity to see her husband who was going to die from fatal attack of cancer in London she decided to remain in house arrest because there was a fear if she went once again 